you can see it's actually selecting up on my wall too so it's keeping the the edge contour to what my changes are do some on your inner uh, rock faces too just makes the terrain look a little bit more believable here's another bad face you can see that when this face is rendered see this this vertices is higher than this vertices over here so whenever this fat face fat flat face is rendered it's going to have a bend in it and it's not going to look right so you just select these two turn off edge soft selection again connect them and that'll give that that face something to bend around I'm going to do a little bit more over here okay good enough for now you get the idea okay um, pow -pow. blues clues alright let's see if there's anything else oh yeah I was gonna make this rock face interactive so I'm going to make something where you can go inside it now something inside of it you want it to be kinda hidden from general view small map so it don't really matter but I would say that this back side here would be a great place for one I'm just gonna, I'm gonna connect this wall to this wall and just kind of make it kind of like a little wrap around. You'll have a column here after that. So you can turn off uh or turn on ignore back facing. That way you can select these walls without selecting the cliff walls. Now, uh I'm going to have to insert some vertices cuz if I just started with this, I would have some very boxy entrances just kind of drag these around don't worry about these over here because we're gonna cut them across like that just make it a little more round so select these cut them across make some more triangles but hopefully they'll look okay okay so just make it a little bit more random supposed to be a normal formation here so you don't want it to look like it's you know a domestic door okay that works for me do the same for over here see I'm keep, keeping the number of poly or uh, faces that will be here the same you don't have to this will make your job easier though. Uh, change them up first. Do do do. Okay. Go ahead and uh extrude this with a negative and that will give you an inner walkway now if you look up in this screen you can kinda see how deep you're going into the rock face a little better same over here Let me make sure I have the other side unselected if you see in this screen over here you can see the corners of the two in the two uh, cave walls about the touch and that's about what I want so I'm gonna go over here I'm going to delete these center faces and if you go under the mesh you'll be able to see the inside of these things you can see they don't perfectly line up, but that's fine. Now I'm going to target weld 
the higher side to the lower side. I just seem to get better results if I do that. Now, that's okay for these lower things, or lower parts of the wall, but for these top parts, if you weld it, you're going to see a great big shoot over. So unselect your target weld, select the two vertices and go to weld, increase the weld threshold until they connect, and you see they meet in the middle, that way neither side is really that stretched. Hit the apply button, they'll stay that way. i got to increase my threshold here, let's go ahead and go to max. Apply threshold, all it is is the distance between the two points, nothing to worry about. I don't even see why it's really there, I guess, for very sensitive situations. But you can see we got one side of the wall complete here. You got a rock face, a little column of rock. Now, for this interface, or the other side of this rock wall here, whoops. We're going to need to bring it out more. Because if you, if you just weld these two things, you're going to have a walkway that's like two feet across. So just uh, You can see I'm leaving the last welded point alone. Just kind of dragging it out. You can see it up here in this top window. Dragging it out, making a big wide turn here. Bring this face over here, kind of the middle. Maybe bring it just to back a little bit. It's kind of there. We go. Okay, and go to the other side. do the same. Let's get them close. Go under again and weld them. Since I stretched this wall out, you can see it's very stretched. I'll take care of that in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and target weld this side to it since the other side's already stretched quite a bit. Just connect these wall faces. And you can see how I I was talking about earlier about keeping these the same amount of faces, that way they go together without any real trouble. Now you have a cave entrance over the floor and the ceiling. Same method as before. Um, target weld. Oh, ceiling already done because just the method I did it. Now you see you have a nice little walk around inside your cave. About this stretched wall here. Just gonna select all these lines, connect them, just give them, drag that new line out, give it a little bit of a bend. You don't want your walls stretched too much. Okay. Uh, now you see this face here has a line coming down to its middle but no line over here that's going to be noticeable in the mesh so go ahead and connect it off other side too same up here Family's making a bunch of noise back there, but just ignore them. Alright, so there's your little cave entrance. Seems like we got a little bit of a 